Um, what's your top five heavyweights in order? And why? Okay. So I think, based on recent fights, I have to put number one as Tyson Fury. Okay. The reason being is, is because not only has he had a really good convincing win against Wilder, yeah. I just feel as though, I know he had his own situation where he went off, he was depressed, and he had to come back after a year. Even when he had his first fight with Wilder, where he was only at about, what, 50, 60%, 70%, he still was pretty convincingly good at boxing. Yeah, um, I think Fury, a well polished Fury, would probably outbox any heavyweight right now. Yeah, so okay. I have to put him first. Okay, just, yeah. Do you think? Sorry, just to, so two points on that quickly because playing devil's advocate. AJ's got the most belts. Yeah. Does that have any bearing or no? You think actually well, it doesn't matter. It's about who has got the and. Do you think AJ? Do you think, sorry, Fury has got a better resume than AJ? Is that why you've got one? Or do you think, just on recent performances and what you've seen, you think that that Fury's got the better kind of skill set? In terms of res- so what, in terms of the belts first, I mean, Fury would have had those belts when he beat Klitschko, but then yeah. he went off. So True. Okay. I guess it's a question of, like, you know, does he deserve more credit? You know, he had his own problems to deal with. Yeah. But Fury, almost, Fury basically had the belts yeah. that AJ had. Yeah, he um, has. Yeah, no, he has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just had to lost lost them because he was like inactive for so long. Yeah. Um, what was what was this? The other one was um, in terms of resumes. Yes. So a lot of people make the make the uh, argument that AJ has got a better resume than Fury. I think he probably just does, but I don't think that's the reason to put him as number I, one. I think AJ has fought slightly better people than Fury because mm. you know since Fury's come back, his only decent person is Wilder. Yeah. Um, because before that, he had these two or three warm-up fights with, yeah. like, Uber drivers, so I wouldn't... Have <laughs> Uber drivers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, door, probably uh, professional bouncers or yeah, doormen or something. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly that. So, I mean, yeah, I still think AJ's got a slightly better resume because he's fought people like, what, Parker, Povetkin, mm. uh, Takam. Um, but then again, obviously, AJ does have a loss under his record, which yeah. kind of puts it down a little yeah. bit. Um no, I think they've both got good resumes, but AJ, I'd give him a slight advantage. Yeah. So that. so who's your number two then? I would probably put him as yeah. AJ. I think actually, you know, talking quickly upon the resumes, I think AJ overall has probably got a better resume. Yeah. But I think if you look at the top you know, two or three wins, then I think you've got to say Fury, because yeah. Fury's been Wilder and Klitschko. Yes. And then with AJ, you've got Klitschko and maybe Povetkin. Maybe I'd say Parker Parker as well. Maybe Parker, former world champion. Uh, maybe um, I mean I think Dylan White will over time look better. Yeah. At the time they were both at British level then. So yeah. That's that's hard. But yeah, I mean, a hundred percent agree with that. So AJ at two. Yes. Okay. So who have you got at three then? Um, it's a tricky one. So we're looking at probably what we to put names out there: the Wilders, Povetkins, Ruiz's, Whites. Yeah. Uh, Pulev even I guess Parker those types of people right now uh, Usyk even I think is Usyk's Usyk's working his way up but he hasn't fought the top heavy like he hasn't yeah in he, terms of heavyweights he hasn't fought he's only heavy. fought one against Chaz Witherspoon yeah so. so I can't I, I think I think uh, Usyk's someone who's got a lot of potential and he yeah. will climb his way up but not yet I think he needs do you to think have, do you think once we see him against Chisora you'll be able to kind of get a gauge of where you think he is yeah yeah, yeah if he can beat Chisora convincingly yeah. When it'll be near the top, yeah. um, but you know, I think I think in terms of number three, it's it's even Wilder or Ruiz. Yeah. Thing is, it's funny with Ruiz because it's only like it's only one fight that's actually made him sort of yeah so far up the top. But I think actually, if you're a boxing, if you're a hardcore boxing yeah. fan, I think you people will be saying, you know, he fought against Parker, and a lot of people thought he won that yeah. fight for the world title as well. And I think a lot of people will be saying, actually, he is a good fighter. He just hasn't had as much exposure. Yeah. And then when he fought AJ, he showed what he could do. I think in the second fight, I think we can all agree, he probably wasn't at his best. He, 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 he was, over, he was yeah. overweight. He looked good in the workouts, but then the public workouts. But yeah. as soon as he went to the ring, probably not his best. That's not that taking anything punch. away from AJ. But yeah, I think he's he was not, just looking for that knockout yeah. again. Um, but let's, let's, say, let's say, when we're doing this top five, that a fighter who's at his best, what, where do you think he ranks? I, so who's the number three for you? Then, then it actually would be Ruiz because okay. I think I think against Joshua he was his best and he showed really good boxing skills. Yeah. Even when you watch back the Joseph Parker fight, he showed great boxing skills. Yeah. Um, the reason why I put Ruiz over Wilder is because if we if we like I don't know take away the belts and just look at pure skill, yeah. um, I 
can't, look, Wilder's got a very good punch power, but I can't say he's the most skilled boxer. Okay. But he's still at the top because he's still done well, basically, in his right hand. So I'll probably put Wilder as fourth. And then fifth, I, it's either Dillian White or Alexander Povetkin. Okay. The thing is, is that if, if Dillian White beat Povetkin in that fight, yeah. I would have probably put him like above Wilder, potentially. Okay. But with that loss, now with two KO losses, it's hard to really see where Dillian White sits. Yeah. So you're kind of, I guess you're kind of leaning towards Povetkin if White wins and yeah. you kind of put him in there. You've got to remember, Povetkin's pass is, like, Povetkin's 41, he's not going to be yeah. around for much longer in the boxing yeah. world. Um, and, and you can already see, Povetkin's nowhere near as good as he was at his prime. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he ties out, like, quite early. Yeah. Depending on how the next rematch goes, it'll be either White or Povetkin. Okay. Thanks for visiting the channel, and I hope you really enjoy this video. As always, stay safe and take care. And of course, please check the description for Kevil's amazing magic videos. And I hope you enjoyed this new kind of dynamic.